Yes, you do. And you see, there's nothing bad about God that can turn you away. Amen. And God said, there's nothing that is bad about you that can turn me away. Wow. As long as you stay in a reverential place, yeah. as long as you reverence me, as long as you continue to seek me and worship me, there's an intimacy that you, that you begin to develop with God. It's more than uh, religiosity. Yeah. It's more than just coming to church and waving your hand and saying amen and thank you, Jesus, and glory to God. And you know, it's, it's, it's deeper than that. How many of you know that when you really have a, a true relationship with God, that goes beyond your Sunday morning experience? Amen. Where some people, they come to church on Sunday, and they, they enter to the praise and worship, and that's all for them. When they leave, that's it. That's it. That's all they so got. For some of you, it's just beginning. Just yeah. the beginning. Yes. Yeah. Glory to God. That's right. You're not just a Sunday yeah. saint. You're not just a Wednesday yeah. saint. Yeah. I'm all in there. You're not just a saint. You have relationships that's with right. God. Yeah. That's right. That's a big difference. Yeah. So there's an yes. intimacy there. And the result of that intimacy is fellowship and, and friendship and private conversations. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. When you become a partaker, not just of his presence, because some people are just satisfied with just being in his presence, mm -mm. which more, is good. But you have to understand that God has invited you into his presence, not just to have a good, a feel-good experience. Come on. Not just to have goosebumps mm -hmm. and, and, and thrills. God has invited you when you come before the presence of the king. My God. Who is your daddy and who is now your friend. My yeah. God. He doesn't just want you to feel good. He wants to share counsel with right. you. Amen. He wants to share it's covenant with you. Woo. He wants to share, amen, the secrets yeah. that he has in store for you. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. You're a partaker of his counsel. Glory. And God has allowed you to have free access oh to everything he knows about you. Thank you. He told Jeremiah, I know the thoughts. I think toward you. They were thoughts of peace and not of evil. Hallelujah. To do what? To give you an expected end. Expected end. Amen. To give you, one translation says, hope in your final outcome. Yeah. Or to give you a future yeah. in yeah. hope. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you, God has invited you into his yeah. presence. Yeah. My God, because he's going to give you hope yeah. in your final outcome. What you thought was a tragedy will be your triumph. Death will be your death. Amen. Yes. 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 will be a new beginning. Yes. Hallelujah. You are in God, and when God is in you, every day is a new beginning. Yes. All right. And we become brighter and brighter. Amen. Anybody want to give God praise? Amen. Oh. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. I want you to write this down if you take your notes. There is a place in God where His secrets are revealed. And where mysteries do unfold. Yeah. There is a place in God. There's a place in God where his secrets are revealed. And where mysteries do unfold. Life doesn't have to be a big secret. Life doesn't have to be a mystery. God knows the plans that he thinks toward you. But when he told Jeremiah that in Jeremiah 29 and 11... Verse 12 says, I just want you to seek me for those plans. Amen. I want you to seek me. I want you to enter into an encounter with me. I, I don't want you to get satisfied, become satisfied just with knowing that there is a plan for you. Mm -hmm. I want you to have the 411 on those plans for your life. Amen. Amen. So that you don't have to go throughout all of your life stumbling and right, tripping right. and trying this and yeah. seeing that this will work out and trying that and seeing that it'll work out. No, when you have the plan of God for your life, yes. you don't have to try anything. Amen. You just do it. You just do it. Yeah. Hallelujah. When you know you're in the plan of God, you know you're not anywhere by accident, but by divine appointment. Yeah. I know that I'm here by divine appointment. Amen. 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 So notice he says that, that there is a place, there is a place, a place, there's a place in God where he reveals his secrets and where mysteries do unfold. How many of you have ever had God speak to you? Hallelujah. Secrets. Yeah. My, my, my. Yeah. Woo. Yes, yes. How many of you pray in here? Let me just see your hands. Yes, yes, yes. 
Amen. You have a relationship with God. You're in communion with Him. Right. You're in fellowship with Him. And He'll begin to drop things in your spirit. Yeah. Go here. Yeah. Don't go there. Go here. Right. He'll begin yeah. to drop uh, knowledge and information on the inside of you. And notice this. This is what I wrote down because it really began to resonate within my spirit. How many of you have ever had God speak to you words which are not possible for you to utter to man? There are some things that God will show you that you can't even utter to man. Because they don't even understand, understand. what they of your relationship with God. Amen, God. My God, there were some things that God has revealed to me, and if I share them with a man, the amen, man. they won't be able to handle yeah. them because what God places in your spirit is divine. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sometimes you can't even go to your own spouse. You can't even go to your own parents yeah. about things that God is dropping in your spirit. And that's why you just have to know, oh God, this is between me and you. I wish I could share this with him, I can't tell her. I wish I could share this with him, I can't tell him. Because it's such a holy encounter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The wrong person, they may discourage you. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Glory to God. Sometimes you've got to drop something in your spirit that you can't repeat. So the yes. 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 You can't repeat to your so called friends. You can't repeat yes. to anybody else. Yes. Yes. You just got to receive it in your heart. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. And walk it out of your life. Yes. Amen. Amen. God yes. said, This is what I want to do Holy. to those I call friends. Amen. With those that fear me, reverence me. I want to give you the 411 about your destiny <laughs> and about your future. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Notice the scripture says he will show you his covenant. Yes. Yes. He will make you to know his covenant. Yes. In Jeremiah and Hebrews, he said, I'm going to write it upon the tablet of your heart. Amen. My God. Right. There's no way that you can escape the plan of God for your life. Mm. There's no way that you can escape the Change. purpose of God for your life. Mm -hmm. I don't care where you run. <laughs> That's right. I don't care what city you move to. Right. That purpose is going to continue to resonate. Oh, your yes. Spirit, yes. And you won't have any fulfillment until you say yes to that Amen. purpose. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Notice what Jesus said in John chapter 15, verse 15. He says, I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. He says, instead, I have called you friends for everything that I learned from my father. I have made it known to you. Hallelujah. Your future is no longer hidden when you are in Christ. You are no longer in the dark. When you become a friend of God, yes. God will reveal to you his plan for your life, and he'll reveal it through Jesus Christ. Amen. How I many of you are a friend of God that is in your hands? Yes. Yes. Praise yes. God. He says, you're no longer a servant. Thank you. You're no longer a slave. Wow. You're a friend. See yourself as a friend of God. See yourself as being an intimate friend of God where God reveals to you secrets for your life. Yes. So what do we have to do? What you go to <coughs> Jeremiah 33. What do we have to do? Jeremiah 33, verse 3. The Bible says, 